Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, today we are bringing you a new segment called The Tech Guy Rants. And The Tech Guy Rants is just simply going to be rants that I have with things that people often get wrong or things that just are kind of annoying me in the tech world and I'm going to address them. So today's one to start off is going to be about the iPhone. There will be no iPhone 8 in 2017, period. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean every single year, or rather every other year, this happens. Viewers are saying your favorite tech and your YouTuber techs are saying the iPhone 8 is coming out this year. Two years ago, the iPhone 7 is coming out this year. Two years before that, the iPhone 6 is coming out this year. Because, see, they're always skipping the S series every single time, every other year this happens. Oh, no, Apple's skipping the S series this year. They're going to do away with it. They're just going to skip it and go right into the whole number. Now, why is this said? Well, that's just because a very easy answer. You get more clicks that way. See, if I were to do a video on the iPhone 8, or if I were to do a video on the iPhone 7S, which is actually coming out this year, my iPhone 8 videos will get a lot more views than the iPhone 7S videos. So that's why YouTubers do it. Um, now, don't get me wrong, some probably might believe that I have that, you know, you have your a hardcore ones like Apple everything saying there will be a, and it's not. It's not going to happen. It just hasn't happened every single time. And this year's not going to be any different. But this year's the 10th anniversary iPhone. Yes, and Apple is going to do the same thing they traditionally do, which is the iPhone 7S and 7S Plus. Uh, it looks like they are going to have AMOLED screens, although they are having a lot of issues with it. Or, sorry, OLED screens, because not all of them will be from Samsung, just the majority of them. And once that is done you are going to also have a third device. And that third device, we do not know the name of. It will not be called an iPhone 8, but it will most likely be called either an iPhone X, iPhone 10th Anniversary Edition, or iPhone 7S Pro. Uh, they were gonna have a Pro series last year, but at the last minute they did scrap it about a couple months before the actual launch. Um, so that is what's going to happen. Now the Pro series or the iPhone X, as I, uh, said along about a year, uh, more than a year ago, I said that Apple would name it the iPhone X because it just makes the most sense. Apple is always key with the Roman numerals. We just got rid of OS X and it's a fitting way to do the 10th anniversary edition iPhone. So the iPhone X, we've already covered a lot of it and I will leave the full, uh, description or sorry, the link for the full coverage on that phone in the description down below where we go into insane detail on the iPhone X, the iPhone 7S, as well as the Galaxy X and the Galaxy Note 8. We do go over full description in the video in the link down below. However, I do want to address the main parts. What is going to make the iPhone X different? Well, the iPhone X is going to be a glass on glass phone. So it's going to have a glass backing so that it'll have wireless charging. Your metal iPhone will not have wireless charging. So the iPhone 7S and 7S Plus will not have wireless charging. The iPhone X is also going to still, of course, maintain waterproofing. But the other thing that it's going to have is a definite OLED display and this is where we're getting some issues. So if you've seen, we actually had the first leaked images of the iPhone on our mobile weekly podcast this past week. And with that, we definitely saw some interesting parts of that. We saw that the fingerprint scanner might not be on the front because Apple just can't do it. This is the same thing that happened to Samsung with their phone. So on their phone, they had to put it in the back instead of keeping it on the front. Now, if Apple does that, so far their design is not that good. Uh, in my opinion, let me know what you guys think. I did again have this on our mobile weekly. You can just check out our YouTube page and check it out. It's right there on the front. Uh, but I didn't think it looked that good. It's basically the fingerprint sensor below the Apple symbol. I would just say, why not kill two birds with one stone? You can even make the Apple symbol a little bit bigger and make that the fingerprint scanner. But overall, if they do not have it on the screen, which would be bad for Apple just because I feel that design isn't going to be as good then. If they do not have it on there, you're going to have still a 5.2 inch display, uh, or sorry, rather 5.8 inch display phone, 
but 5.2 of it is actually going to be the actual screen size uh, display and then the rest is going to be the active button area which would be on the bottom of the phone right here um so and that will be the home button the uh, ha uh the engine feedback that apple is known for and that's where you're going to get uh, also you know dual speakers at the bottom so this is what you're getting from apple however there will be no iphone 8. so i just wanted to make that clear because you're going to start seeing in the upcoming months that oh actually it's not going to be an 8 and it, it's never it never was going to be an 8. There was never going to be an iPhone 8 in 2017. It's just something that happens every two years. It gets frustrating to me every time uh, that I hear it, uh, just because it's like, no, they're not gonna fucking have an iPhone 8. They're just not. So yeah, that was my first thing on the Tech Guy rant. And uh, let me know what you guys think about the segment. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be having another segment on uh, why Google uh, the biggest weakness of Android is actually Google's messaging service, and that will be up tomorrow. And we'll have a couple up this week along with a lot of other videos. we got a new camera in the studio, so we will be covering uh, our new camera for the studio as well as the entire setup. we got some more cases for the S8, so a lot of other videos coming down the pipeline. Make sure you subscribe to catch all those videos. And yeah, let me know what you guys think about this segment and let me know what you guys think about Apple strategy. By the way, Apple did say last year that they are switching to a three year plan. So big change, little change, little change, big change. That's what's been the kind of new way of doing uh, that Apple's going for instead of big change, little change, which of course was the whole number and the S number. So this is the new Apple. This is what we are getting. So hopefully, if you guys have any questions on like, oh, well, how do you know this and all that stuff? I mean, the facts have all been there in every single articles uh, over the past couple of uh, time. However, I do go more in depth on the iPhone X in the uh, video in the description. So I will leave that there as well. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below and make sure to give a like, thumbs up while you're down there. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy.